This video is brought to you in part by Coatex. I have built so many projects for my house that are just like a little bit too small or a little bit too boring to become a full YouTube video. But I figured if I like scrape all those projects together, like spare change, then maybe accumulatively, accumulatively, then maybe accumulatively there's something valuable enough for you to wanna watch. If not, I'll figure out a way to refund your time at the end of the video. I had a bunch of molding left from repairing some of the ceiling. So I made this shelf for my protector. This is gonna be way too boring. <laughs> I'm feeling so self-conscious about it. This is why I don't post a lot of videos on YouTube because I'm like, it's just not interesting enough. Um, but it really blends in. So as you can see, you can't really see it that well. So that's a really neat feature. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> After I made the leaf bed video, a lot of you asked if I was gonna build a staircase for it, but instead I made this because it was a lot less work. <laughs> and also I don't want Scraps to be able to get up in bed by herself because she hides her kibble absolutely everywhere. There's like a dried chicken head that she's hidden somewhere and I cannot find it. And I'm just really happy to know that it's at least not in my bed. I put my sheets and my towels and my pajamas in here. So very cool, very practical, and also keeps dead animals out of it. What do you say? Where did you hide the head scraps? I made these light switches to match the bed because light switches are really boring and I would rather take ugly than boring. Still wouldn't want to date you though. Last time I did a video like this showing you random projects, I show you this copper shelf that I made for my bathroom. So these big ones are just end caps and they just like swivel around and you can put random things in it and it actually works really well. And this is like a larger version of that. So the shelves pivot. So depending on how the plants grow, you can move them around. So it's kind of like a stripper pole, but for plants. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. Okay, now that I have you here, let's take a quick break and talk about periods instead. You didn't see that one coming, did you? I mean, if there's one thing periods are good at, it's catching you off guard, so um, here we are. This video is sponsored by Kotex, and May 28th is Menstrual Hygiene Day. And bottom line is that periods are a huge taboo in some parts of the world, and like a medium-sized taboo in the rest. And the Kotex She Can Initiative is an organization that champions women's progress by fighting period stigmas and the barriers they cause. And I think that the best way to fight stigmas is to learn more about it. So in honor of that, I made a menstruation machine that explains how the menstrual cycle works and a period cramps machine that can crush objects with the same amount of pressure as a uterus. And you can watch these videos now on Kotex's YouTube channel. They're meant for anybody who menstruates or anybody who knows anyone who menstruates, which I think covers pretty much everybody. So head over to Kotex's YouTube channel if you're interested. There's a link in the description and Thank you so much to the Kotex She Can Initiative for sponsoring this video. Okay, now uh, let's talk about these toilet paper shelves that I made. Actually, there's not that much to say about it. Um, I see and seed it. I give it three out of five stars. I don't love it. I don't hate it. But also, how much could you realistically love a toilet paper shelf? It kind of just is. I do love these soap holders though. Like I was looking at all these shower caddies and suction cup shelves and I didn't really like any of them. And I realized that all of my bottles are the same size. So I just 3D printed these pipe mounts and this is definitely one of the most discreet solutions that I've seen. So I really like it. Okay, last project. I feel like these have so much potential but it's just not there yet. I made these bathroom cupboards to match the tiling on the floor. And initially I painted them all black, but it just looked like a really like fancy hotel room or it was just taking itself way too seriously. So I painted these little flowers on it and now it looks like it belongs to somebody who crochets like little teacups and portraits of guinea pigs. <laughs> so I added these mirror ornaments to try to tie it all together you know, kind of like when a joke doesn't land and instead of cutting your losses, you just lean into it even more and you hope that eventually it's going to become funny. Um, yeah, 
I don't know. It's all an experiment. Thank you so much for watching this video. On April 1st, I wrote a Patreon post about that I was building a menstruation machine and everyone thought I was joking, but hey, I was not. So head over to Kotex's YouTube channel if you wanna watch those videos. And I know these house projects might not be mind blowing, but this is truly the most fulfilling thing I know, which maybe sounds a little bit sad, but I'm having the best time. And if you didn't have the best time watching this video and you want your time back, here is your time refund. My friends gave me these like custom slippers that look like scraps. She hates them and loves them at the same time. Could you maybe put your feet to rest just while we roll the camera? <laughs> okay. <laughs>